Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Good morning. It's so good to see you this uh, day before Christmas Eve. Can we call it Christmas Eve Eve? Yeah. 
Uh, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. Today we have the privilege of having a baptism as a part of our worship experience. And uh, D- Dolores is here. You know, it's interesting. The Bible tells us that a little child shall lead them. And kind of in a way that, that's true. Uh, uh, Dolores became a Christian a long time ago. But uh, she was, like many of you, her baptism was not by immersion. She was a believer, but was baptized in a way that when we study the Bible, we think really is not the biblical model. And so um, one of the things that happened, and a lot of things, but one of the things that happened in her journey was her grandson, Vincent, came to uh, be baptized and went through the class we call Take the Plunge. And Dolores told me just a moment ago that it was in the, in the experience of Take the Plunge and just taking a look at those Bible verses that she felt the Lord leading her to be baptized uh, by immersion. So Dolores, I, d- I have one question for you. Has there been a time when you asked Jesus to forgive your sins and come in and be Lord in your life? Yes. All right. Then because of that, I baptize you as my sister in Christ, Dolores Thies, and I do that in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Bible says we're buried with him in baptism and we're raised to walk in new life. There we go. (laughs) Don't wipe your face. (laughs) It's okay. (laughs) All right. God bless you. Thank you, Dolores. Thank you. Careful when you step there. It's today. (laughs) Good morning. Welcome this morning to HBC. If I haven't gotten to meet you yet, I don't just stand on um, that thing over there and take pictures. Um, My name is Becca, and I serve here as our Welcome Ministries Director. And so what that means is um, when you're a newcomer with us, I get to help you connect here and go through the process of getting to know us. And um, I provide some special events for you, some opportunities. And um, at the end of that process, sort of when I go, okay, you're not a newcomer anymore, I'm, I'm releasing you into the world of... HBC, is when you become a member here. And we have a couple that um, recently became members, Brian and Veronica, and Veronica's a friend of mine. And so if you guys would like to stand or wave, whatever you're more comfortable with, we want to welcome you as new members to HBC. Yay! See, I've released them now. I I, I don't have to hold their hand. No, I'm just kidding. Um, They're still my friends. And um, that's really what brings me so much joy is that when you're new with us, when I get to connect with you, when I get to go through a few steps with you, I get to make uh, the opportunity as my friend. And that is a privilege to get to do that. Um, If you're um, on that newer end of the spectrum and you're wondering, how do I get to that point where I become a member? The the easiest thing really is to do something simple. It's this. It's our little connect card. And it's in the pew racks in front of you. And if you would take a moment during the service today to fill it out and then give it to Pastor Barry at the end of the service. He hangs out over here by the information counter. And um, that way we we can help you be guided through the process of getting to know us and us getting to know you, and hopefully that will end in getting to introduce you as members on a Sunday morning. We're really glad that you're here, and we're really glad that we have the opportunity to worship with you today. As you know, it's the, our time of the year we do the Lottie Moon Christmas offering uh, for international missions, and we just had a team return from Portugal and working with our missionaries on the ground there, and our missionaries have given us a video this morning we can show Uh, just to remind us why we do what we do in the Lottie Moon Christmas offering. Let's watch that together, please. Hello, HBC. This is Mark and Hannah Bustrom, who serve with the International Missions Board in Lisbon, Portugal. In Portugal, they work with a people whose evangelical percentage is less than 2%, so they are talking to a people group where more than 98% do not know the gospel. This means a lot of what they do is share the gospel with people who are hearing it for the very first time and have never been presented it before. Mark and Hannah want to say thank you for giving to Lottie Moon and for praying for the ministry in Lisbon. The great thing about Lottie Moon is it fully supports them in the field. It enables them to spread the gospel along with a local church that is working to plant a new church in another neighborhood. 
It is so exciting to be able to do that because of your generous donation. When you give to Lottie Moon, you are partnering with them to share the gospel with people who have never heard it. Your gifts to Lottie Moon also provide for the Bustrom family in a very personal way. Your giving provides for their house, vehicle, their kids to attend school. It actually even provides for a scholarship that allows their oldest daughter to attend a Christian college. For all of this, they are very thankful for how your gifts allow them to do their work without worrying. Thank you for giving generously. Thank you for praying. And please continue to pray for their church, Lapa, as they work together to spread the gospel. Let's continue to remember Mark and Hannah Bustrom as we pray uh, and uh, as we give. Do want to mention uh, to you something specific about 2019 and our mission trips. We have an opportunity to uh, minister to the children of East Asia missionaries this next year in Singapore. We're hoping to take between 30 and 40 people from HBC to go do a large uh, mission trip, and we would be providing vacation Bible school and child care for all the children of the East Asia uh, missionaries. We'll combine with other churches in the Northwest Baptist Convention to do that. If you'll remember, we did a large group again uh, back in 2016, and this, is, this will be a repeat of that. And so a lot of that information has already been given out. I ask you to begin praying about that now and saving your money and making sure you have your passport and that it's up to date. Because as a Christian, you never know when God's going to call you to go overseas. And to say, oh, yes, Lord, I would love to go, but I don't have a passport. So, you can do that even, well, you'll have to wait till after Christmas because I think they're closed. But start that process, get your passport uh, so you'd be available for that. Let's continue to worship together, please. skies of Bethlehem appeared a star, while angels sang to lowly shepherds. Three wise men seeking truth, they traveled from afar, hoping to find the child from heaven. Falling on their knees, they bowed before the humble Prince of Peace. I bring an offering of worship to my King. No one on earth deserves the praises that I bring. Jesus, may you receive honor that you're due. Oh, Lord, I bring an offering to you. Oh, Lord, I bring an offering to
exaltation, O sing, O ye bright hosts of heaven above. Glory to God, all glory in the highest. O come, let us adore Him. O come, let us adore Him. O come, let us adore Him. Christ the Lord. Yea, Lord, we greet Thee for this happy morning. Jesus, to Go ahead and be seated, please. Thank you. Riley, come on up with me. Yeah. Uh, you know, I wonder, uh, I love those beautiful parts when we're singing uh, praise to the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore him. Should not be confined to Christmas, should it? What a beautiful expression of praise. Uh, wonder, wonderful to see you. Uh, this is an occasion to wear your red shirt or your red sweater. That's a good thing. I know you've already been told, but I, I just want to say one more time, tomorrow night, it, um, 4 and 6 o'clock on Christmas Eve, it's going to be wonderful. Pastor David Cooper has prepared a beautiful, beautiful praise service for us. Before we pray for our offering, I've asked Riley Hamilton to join me here on uh, the stage this morning because Riley uh, has already begun to serve as our interim youth pastor, and he's doing a wonderful job, and we're just so pleased with... Uh, Riley's experience, his love for the Word of God, uh, his passion for people. Uh, it's going to be wonderful to see God moving in and through Riley's ministry uh, here. And we're expecting this to be months long as we continue to do a nationwide search for our, our uh, youth pastor. But it's wonderful to have Riley here standing in the gap and just leading in a very, very effective and very professional way. So I wanted you to meet him. Let's give Riley a welcome to HBC. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. Let's pray before we give. Well, Lord, today, um, what an opportunity for us just to worship you in song, and then turn around and worship you through giving, God. Uh, we, we do both of those things today. And Lord, as we give, uh, we know that you will use what we give for the ministry right here at HBC, but so much more. Lord, you will use it around the region and around the world. We trust you to do that and thank you for doing that. So God, just use this offering in ways pleasing to you. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.
See you. 